As lawmakers return to the Capitol on Monday, the 2015 session is likely to be remembered more for what didn't happen than what did. At the top of the list, a budget. Budget negotiations should have started a long ago, and they haven't. And the reason they haven't is because uh, we weren't able to get uh, the health care issues resolved. As a senator, Don Gates supports the Senate plan to expand health care for the working poor. Across the rotunda, his son's state representative, Matt Gates, is adamantly opposed. We both have strong views. Uh, senator Gates believes that we ought to expand Medicaid. Uh, I think we shouldn't. And hopefully, as a legislature, we will perform our constitutional duty of crafting a budget. It has been 55 days since Rick Scott called on lawmakers to cut taxes on cell phone, cable TV, textbooks and more. The cuts are going nowhere until the fight over health care is settled. Nobody's getting anything that they want right now until we see what the budget is and we won't have one by Friday so all remains to be seen. As lobbyists hang outside the chamber doors, they and lawmakers will use the final week to try and salvage something to take home. Surprisingly, the most heavily lobbied bill this week is the so-called Whiskies and Wheaties bill that would allow big box stores to sell liquor inside their main stores. Its fate, along with hundreds of other bills, won't be known until Friday. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.